This is Joshua Peterson, Peterson Electric. I want to talk to you today about how to detect if your panel's going out. Um, I've been doing this about 17 years, and it's been one of the hardest things to detect. But again, I do not suggest you take this off. It's called a dead front cover. It's for a purpose. You'll get killed if you don't have it on the front. Okay, so when you take this off and you have your gloves on, you want to determine, first of all, um, if you hear any sizzling. How I do that is I turn everything on in the home and I compress that load to go right back to this panel. So no different than, hey, my car operates just fine going down I-70, but the minute I go up Eisenhower Tunnel at, you know, 11, 12,000 feet, my car starts acting up. That's because not only are you losing a bit of oxygen up there, but you're also putting a lot more pressure on your fuel pump. Maybe you're towing your, your, your fifth wheel behind there, and all that pressure puts more pressure on your water pump and all those systems that make that truck run. Well, it's the same thing with electrical. If we put all that pressure back to this panel, we can detect it. A couple ways I detect it is, first of all, a temperature gun. This temperature gun can tell me if a breaker on the top surface or a lug is starting to go out. Beyond the fact that I also look for a physical inspection to see if something's melting. I also check if there's aluminum versus copper and to see if my lugs are discolored. The other thing I do is I use an amp meter. Uh, this meter typically you can get probably about 150 bucks. Um, this one right here is an $800 meter and this meter basically will detect current. So it's got this neat little pigtail here that I can wrap around on any little wire and it determines how much current I'm running. And so I can see if my legs are balanced. So in this panel, I had this one running about 15 amps more than this one. So that tells me that A-phase has been running harder for a long time. Um, and then I have a thermal gun, which is about a $1,000 tool. But my thermal meter will actually start to determine by temperature if something's going on inside of these breakers. And so I can actually see hot spots on certain circuits where the temperature meter may not. It also does temperature as well, so now I can check my two temperature guns. Now when I see right now for today it's about 42 degrees out, it's pretty chilly. Um, I can see that my normal operating temperature on a couple breakers, they weren't doing anything. Nothing was plugged in, so they must have been an outlet circuit with nothing on. But the other ones that are my lighting loads or my appliances, they were actually starting to bear down on hotter spots because they were running while I was doing this. And so I can actually see that some of these were running 66 degrees, which right now is about 24 degrees above ambient temperature. That's not bad. When I start seeing a breaker hit about 200 to 300 degrees and it hasn't popped yet, it's probably because the contact got welded in there and it won't pop. But I can actually start to see that that is starting to heat up and then the insulation starts to melt all the way down or back up on your feet or going this way. So again, you know, when I do these panels to condemn a panel like this, I mean, this, these panels right here start at about $3,200 just to start to bid them. I won't do anything less than that typically. I always get my permits. I deal with Excel or the power company, pay those fees, deal with my inspector, make sure he walks my job. All because and when I'm done, I need this little $2 tag just to prove that I, I did my job correctly. But I want to make sure before I condemn a panel on my hunch that I've got about $2,000 worth of tools sitting in three meters to determine is this thing failing based on temperature, based on current, based on uh, a thermal gun, as well as also just a physical inspection. But right now we also heard the a fifth thing, we heard a, a hearing inspection on it. I started to hear this thing sizzle. Now this panel does not have a main disconnect. And according to code right now, based on a building code and a city code, now fire departments expect to have a main breaker kill everything. Well, this panel has not a main breaker, so it has four breakers up, up at top. And this is right here is a lighting breaker, and it's a split bus bar breaker. So it's a split breaker where if I kill this breaker, all of the little loads die. Your, your lighting and your power. But everything above here, your AC, your, your dryer, uh, your, your, your air conditioner, as well as your range, those are the ones that will break above. Now, Article 240 talks about that's okay, not more than six handles disconnecting a panel, but now you have to kill that. So when you put in a new panel, you need a new meter, a new uh, nipple, you have to have a new slip joint or new service mask because this is going up, get your grounding correct, as well as new breakers and a new main breaker that kills everything below. And so what we heard going on here with this sizzling, we knew there was an issue because I popped a breaker on purpose to see what would happen and this two-pole breaker killed 
and it shouldn't have. It should have only just killed the 110, but not only did it shunt here, it shunted to this. And then a radon shorted out on another circuit, and it shunted the same phase on A again. So we think that because A phase is starting to heat up and it's been running a more of a load, we're starting to believe that probably within the next 12 to 24 months, I, I believe this panel is going to go out. And what's going to cause it to go over the temperature on it is definitely when the air conditioning starts kicking on all summer. And then you have your firms kicking on. And, and that's what's probably going to put this over. But we, we're thinking that he does need a panel change on this beyond the fact that it's probably 40, 45 years old. Um, so anyways, guys, thanks for joining us. Hopefully that helps you out.